Hello and welcome back. Today I am going to show you a non-dairy coffee option. And this time we are going to make our own homemade sweetened condensed coconut milk. This time you can make one at home and then we are going to mix it with our espresso. You can use espresso, you can use any coffee of choice, any brewing method, but for today I am going to show you how to make it using the espresso machine. Let's take a look at how we made this. Today I am going to make a small batch of coconut condensed milk. The ingredients are 100% full fat coconut milk. I'm using a local Thai brand, Aroy D. 100 grams granulated sugar and some salt. You may multiply the proportions for larger batches. Into a saucepan, pour the coconut milk. Add the sugar and stir. Turn on the heat to medium and bring to a boil. Stir occasionally to fully dissolve the sugar. Add a dash of salt. Turn the heat to low and let the milk simmer very gently for about 30 minutes. If you are making a larger batch, it could take longer. Whilst the milk is simmering, avoid stirring as the coconut might break. Watch carefully that the sides do not burn. The condensed milk is ready when it has slightly thickened but should still be pourable. When a spoon is dipped into the mixture, it should leave a thin layer on the spoon when the spoon is lifted out of the saucepan. Remove from the heat and let it cool slightly. Transfer the condensed coconut milk to a sterilized bottle. Let it cool down and keep refrigerated when not in use. We started with about 300 milliliters and the yield is about 6 ounces or 180 milliliters. The sweetened coconut condensed milk can be stored in an airtight container in the fridge for up to a week. One thing is for sure, it is not easy to make. So this is only for those that really would like to make sweetened condensed coconut milk, but the taste is absolutely special. Somebody requested this video from me, and so I thought, why not give it a try? And so here I have the most deliciously smelling sweetened condensed milk, coconut, and um, I am going to mix it with my coffee. Now, because this is non-dairy, I am going to use almond milk here. For this, I'm going to use a 16 ounce or 500 ml cup or glass, and then we are going to pull our espresso shots. So I'm going to use 18 grams of coffee beans. I'm using medium rose coffee beans here. It's very useful to have a pre-programmed grinder so you don't have to measure or even use the scoop to measure how many grams of coffee you need to put in your cup. Whilst we are waiting for our espresso, I'm going to fill my cup with ice. For this recipe, I'm going to use 60 ml or 2 ounces of my sweetened coconut condensed milk. So the texture should be pourable. When you put this in the refrigerator, it is going to thicken a little bit more. But for those that want to know how long can you use this, this can be kept refrigerated for up to a week. Okay, so that's a lot of coconut milk there. And then I'm going to add four ounces of my almond milk. For those at home, you don't really have to measure this. I'm just measuring it because you need to be consistent, especially if you're offering this in your coffee shop. So there's two there and two more. So all together, 180 ml or six ounces of milk. I'm just going to combine them all here. Just to make it look full, I'm going to fill this to the top with ice and then I'm going to pour my espresso over. Here's my two shots of espresso. Iced coconut latte using espresso shots and also our own homemade sweetened coconut condensed milk. Moment of truth. Wow. It actually smells really, really good. It smells of coconut and um, espresso.
Mm. It's, it tastes like a lot of Thai desserts <laughs> with that coconut, of course. This is absolutely delicious, something that you have to try. Very, very premium, I must say, because the sweetened coconut condensed milk is not that easy to make. And, um, but you must give it a try. And if you don't succeed the first time, you can always reheat it, add a little bit more of your coconut milk, and then just make sure that you don't you get that consistency that you're looking for. It should be like this. And the color also is different depending on the sugar that you use. I use white granulated sugar, so the color is just perfect. It looks like coconut um, condensed milk, but if you use brown sugar, it might be darker than this one. It is very, very special. So yes, do give it a try. Someone told me that she tried this some, somewhere, somewhere in Hong Kong or something, and um, it tasted really good. And I must say, you must come and try it here at Chow. Let me know how it goes for you. In the meantime, don't forget to check out my books, All Things Milk Tea and The Basic Barista. Details are now to order in the description box below. That's all I have for today. I'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.